Okay, find your mat. Actually, come onto your back. Come onto your back. And then plant your feet on the ground. Bend your knees. Actually, <laughs> come up for a second. Um, this is the blanket part. If you have a blanket, please, if you don't have a blanket, don't worry. But if you have a blanket, fold it halfway. And this is my cat. And then <laughs> roll it like you would roll some sushi here. So you have this, actually, do it like this. The sushi roll on the long side. You can roll it. And then from here, come back onto your back. And then you can bring that sushi roll under and around your ankles for some extra support, actually up and around. Sorry guys, I'm a little, a long time I did this. Up and around the sushi roll, up and around your ankles. And then lay back onto your back and let your knees just gently open. And if you have two blocks, you can bring them also right now underneath your knees. And if you don't have any of those options, Please don't worry, you can simply do everything here without those props. You can still bring the sole of your feet together and let your knees drop open to the left and to the right. Bring your arms on the sides of your body with your palms facing up. Close your eyes, find a soft gaze. And if that's way too much for you, you don't have the props, you can also let your... <clears throat> root your feet into the ground and just keep your knees together and keep your legs bent and standing up. And then wherever you are, bring your right hand onto your belly and your left hand onto your heart. Feel your heart beat here for a moment. And start breathing really deep here and Begin to bring your awareness to your breath. And as you arrive when you're mad, begin to allow yourself to unwind from a long day of work. Feel your belly blowing up and down into your right hands. Feel your heart and your chest pounding. Feel how your breath and your heart pounding, working together, building a rhythm here. And allow yourself to melt a little further into the ground with every exhale you take. Take a deep inhale all together. Blue your belly out. Breathe out. Tuck your belly in. Breathing in through your nose. Breathing out through your mouth. And then here, with your eyes closed or with a soft gaze. We try to tune into what's present for you right now, right here your heart and just breathe here on your natural breathing pattern nothing to change nothing to manipulate yoga is simply about being yourself and learning a little bit more about who that is. Mm. Breathing in, I'm breathing in. 
breathing out, I'm breathing out. Starting that yoga at this point already with our breath, and then we begin to add the calisthenics, kind of the movements into the yoga. The yoga is the breath. I'm gonna remind you throughout this practice to breathe. That's my job here. And then we'll also move a little bit. From here, bring your hands onto your thighs and bring your knees together. You can remove the blanket if you had it right here. Move it to the side and bring your knees into your chest. Hock yourself, hock your knees into your chest. You can roll a little bit from side to side if that feels good to you. Feel the fold in your hip. Just swing from side to side a little bit. Still really focus on your breath with your eyes closed. In tune with your breath. Really feel that nice stretch and that early awakening here in your knee, in your legs, in your hip. And then wing your arms left and right. Keep your knees bent and swing your legs over, let them drop towards the right. And keep your arms where they are, left and right, like airplane wings. And then if it feels good and if your neck permits, Look over and gaze over towards the left. Breathe in and let your heart expand. Feel the extension in your body. And as you exhale, allow yourself to twist a little bit further over towards the left. Breathing in for nourishment. Breathing out, begin to release any tension that you might hold your body and your mind. Mm. Holding this a little bit longer. You can spread your fingers really wide and feel your palms really firmly rooting into the ground. Let your shoulders melt into the ground. Notice where you're holding tension. And oftentimes that's our jaw, our face, our neck, our shoulders. See if you can relax those areas. See if you can relax your navel. There's no need to tuck the navel in right now. And then check in with yourself. Can you align your knees a little bit? Does it feel okay to Stack your left knee right above your right. And then as you exhale, twist a little further towards the left. If for any reason you can't do that, then just stay centered, hug your knees in, and wait for us. Breathing in and breathing out and Fixidity. And then with your next inhale, come back to center and swing your legs right over towards the left. Still airplane wings, left and right. See if you can stack your right knee on top of your left and see if you can really truly relax your legs your toes, your fingers, planted, rooted into the ground, and start gazing over towards the right. Breathing in and feel the extension, breathing out. Move a little bit over towards the right if that feels good to you. So the nice benefit of a yin class is that basically really helps to find some good sleep, which also a vinyasa class does. 
but there's a really active power element to vinyasa, which is a little bit less in the yin, and you could even sleep like a baby tonight. We're really sending our body all the signals that we're ready to rest with all the folds and the hips. Switching from the sympathetic to the parasympathetic system. Signaling that we're ready to rest. Inhale here, exhale, twist for one more moment. And then with your next knees, inhale, calm back to center, give yourself a big hug here. Hug it in, hug your knees and lift your head off the ground a little bit. And let your left leg simply come into the ground, stretch it out in front of you. Keep your right leg into your chest and hug it in with your with your arms, rest your head on the ground for a moment. And then make this really personal, right? How far you want to squeeze and hug your knee, your right knee in is really up to you. You know, find your sweet spot in between not enough and too much. And then from here, as you inhale with your toes pointing up towards the sky, inhale here with your head on the ground, exhale, come up and bring your head towards your right knee. Inhale, bring your head back into the ground. Exhale, bring your head back up towards your right knee. Inhale, bring your head back into the ground. Exhale, head towards your right knee. Inhale, bring your head back into the ground. Now interlace your hands if you like to, if that feels good to you. Release your hands behind your right uh, hamstring, right where your the back side of your knee is. Your toes are pointing up towards the sky, the sole of your foot. And then here, same principle, same movement. Inhale with your head on the ground. Exhale, squeeze and bring your knee closer towards your chest and lift your head up towards your right knee. Inhale, head back into the ground. Exhale, lift up, squeeze your right knee in. Inhale, head back into the ground. Exhale, bring your head up towards your right knee, squeeze it in. Inhale, back to the ground, into the ground. Spread your arms left and right. And then with your right knee bent, swing your left knee over towards the right and maybe your right is even touching the ground. And if it doesn't, it doesn't really matter. With your arms left and right, gaze towards the right. This is a really nice early spinal twist here. It's literally ringing out our spine. And see what feels good to you, right? Your right shoulder doesn't necessarily need to touch the ground. It, it would be great. It would also be great if your right knee could touch the ground, but that's not really the goal. The goal is not really the any destination here. It's just really stretching, reaching towards eternity for it the experience for the feeling, for the relaxation. Breathe in, expand, exhale, melt a little further into the ground. Also holding here a few moments longer. So you will notice that your mind will drift. You will feel withdrawal symptoms like boredom. Maybe at some point you might even get frustrated, impatient. You need to know that that's very normal and that we expect that to happen. Let it come up, let it bubble up, let that, those withdrawal symptoms come up that's what happens when we switch from doing, 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 thinking, 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 thinking to getting back 
to awareness and focusing on our breath. So at this point, are you breathing? Are you focused on your breath? Your breath is your guide. Your breath shows you if you're present and if you're here or if your mind drifts into thoughts, fantasies or dreams and you feel impatient, bored. Keep coming back to your breath. Take a full inhale and remind yourself that yoga is the breath. The breath is the yoga. And that this is a body-based meditation. Okay, one more inhale here. Exhale out. With your next inhale, come back to center. Squeeze your right knee in for a final moment. Squeeze it in as much as it feels good to you. And then let's switch legs. Bend your left knee, lengthening your right leg out in front of you. Hug your left knee into your chest. Inhale with your head on the ground. Exhale, lift your head further towards your left knee. Squeeze your left knee in. Inhale, come back into the ground. Exhale, come back out. Bring your head towards your knee. Inhale, come back into the ground. Exhale your head towards your left knee. Inhale back into the ground. Now interlace your hands behind your hamstring here, your left hamstring, and really pointing the sole of your foot towards the ground, uh, towards the towards the sky. <laughs> and then squeeze your left knee in and feel the fold here, feel the stretch, feel the traction in your spine. Breathe in with your head on the ground. Breathe out, squeeze your left knee and bring your head towards your left knee. Inhale, bring your head back to the ground. Exhale, your head towards your knee. Squeeze in both together, knee and head. Ex inhale, come back to the ground. Exhale, come back up for a final moment. Squeeze it in, lift up your head. Inhale, back to the ground. Now, same thing here, airplane your arms left and right and let your left knee drop over towards your right. Take your time, there's no rush, you know, feel it out and, and let your breath take the lead, let your breath show you the path. If you feel restricted in your breath, it might show you your limits, your boundaries. You feel some painful, sharp sensations in your body, then that might also be a sign for you to back up and come out of the pose. And then gaze towards the left, if that feels good to you, for full spinal twist. Massaging your brain and our spine here as the gray matter of the brain and the spine is really, yeah, made off of the same matter and connected. So it uh, wouldn't be an overstatement to say that we're literally massaging our, twisting our brain here. Breathe in and expand your heart. Breathe out, twist a little deeper towards the left. Now, can you relax your face? Can you keep coming back to your breath? Are you still breathing deep? Mm. Can you relax your right shoulder? Can you relax your right leg, your buttock, your jaw, the forehead, the midpoint in between your eyebrows, your tongue, your eyelids? Everything starts relaxing. Breathing in, I'm breathing in, breathing out. I am breathing out, watching my breath like I would watch the clouds or the birds in the sky. 
really zooming out of the picture here and taking on the position of the cameraman, watching what's going on in my body, what do I feel, what's going on in my mind. And then also realizing I'm not my thoughts. Breathe in and feel the traction in your body reaching left and right, up and down, and breathe out, melt a little further into the ground, let go. The next inhale, come back to center, squeeze your left knee into your chest for one more moment. Full breath in, full breath out. And then bring your right knee into your chest as well. And then for an early happy baby pose, bending both your knees into your chest. If you can, grab the outside of your feet, the outsides of your feet around and grab your feet left and right with your elbows basically touching the insides of your, uh, your shins and then the sole of the feet pointing up towards the sky. So now with your whole back into the ground, if you want to pull your feet and your knees a little further, closer towards your armpits and close your eyes and find yourself gaze to remove any external distractions so that you're fully focused on your breath. Keep coming back to your breath. Breathe in and feel the nourishment through your breath. Breathe out and let your knees sink a little further down, melt into the ground. Ground yourself, connect with the earth. Hmm. Some people like to swing gently from side to side, but take it slow, right? Let your body speak to you and let it tell you the sensations, what it, what you need today. Right? You might be in a different mood today than you were yesterday, last week, last month, for sure. Hmm. And then you can stay here, come with me, and on your inhale with your head on the ground, same, same principle, on your exhale, lift your head off the ground, look in between your legs, forward towards the top of your mat. Inhale, bring your head back into the ground. Exhale, lift up here. Inhale, back into the ground. So now, grab your block. Move it somewhere around you, hopefully. And bring your block onto the second level here, onto your head. Come back into happy baby where we just were. And then here, if you want to, like your active, but like inactive pose in happy baby with the block right underneath your head. And then looking in between your legs towards the top of your mat. So what it does is really stretching the whole entire spine, right? From the very, very bottom point to the top point around your neck, right? You can do it with or without the block. If it feels good without the block, you can maybe come even a little bit higher, but see what feels good to you. If that feels strange and, you know, for you, I mean, just come out of the pose, bring your knees into your chest or take a break in between. That's definitely something we should practice, humility. Just be simply natural, be yourself. Just like three breaths more here. Breathe in and squeezing your knees down. Breathe out. Releasing a little bit more tension. Breathing in for traction. Breathing out for relaxation. Breathing in, I'm breathing in. Breathing out, I am breathing out. 
And then slowly and control, bring your heels back down into the ground. And your feet into the ground. You can remove the block underneath your head if you had your block underneath your head. And come back with your head into the ground. And then with your knees squeezed into your chest. If it feels okay to you, rock, roll forward and backward until you come to sit onto your sit bones. You can take your time here, you know. Again, here, also no rush. And then sitting on your sit bones, spread your legs wide. I remove the flesh underneath your sit bones. And then with your toes flexing up towards the sky, grab your block, anything you need could support you here, right? You can bring your block on a second level then from here really find, come into your fingertips or onto your block and then find the traction in your spine, like a really nice long spine here, right? And you feel that external rotation in your legs. So your legs are not collapsing with you once you come down. You can stay up here and just, you know, enjoy the view and that feels good to you. Of course, you can come down a little further. And take your time and use your exhale. And then stop for a moment, breathe in. And on your next exhale, maybe you can come a little further into a deeper location. But again here, really want to highlight it's not about how far to stretch it's not about how deep to come down or bend forward our bodies are so different you know you're already benefiting from trying trying is doing doing is trying and then relax your head and relax your face and just wiggle your jaw from side to side and wherever you are maybe on your hands on your blocks maybe sitting upright Maybe on, you come onto your forearms. Just simply feel the deep fold in your hip. And that again, the fold in the hip is the signal to the body. I'm ready to unwind. I'm ready to relax. It's when we shift from doing, doing, doing mode. Fight, flight mode. To relaxation mode and when you bend forward if you can find the traction see if you can really let the crown of the head move forward and I always keep repeating to everybody in almost every class you know first the length then the fold so we're not collapsing here somewhere along the way and then feel that beautiful opening here in your hamstrings and your calves mm. and if you like to of course you can also bring your hands into your legs for wider opening for mm. some support here for some leverage and just simply breathe Staying here for a few more moments. Mm. Spend some time once the body allows. You can come into another location to see if that means that you have to come out a little bit or if you want to go a little bit deeper. Breathe in here. Breathe it all out. Relax your belly. Let it blue up and down. Keep coming back to your breath if your thoughts are shifting towards any tasks you still have to do or dinner. And by the way, also a good sign to notice that the mind is drifting if you're cleaning your toes or if you're cleaning your feet or cleaning your back. Just notice, just notice without judging, right? Just notice, 
keep pulling yourself back and that's really the work of the meditative the yogi to keep coming back to your body to your breath so that you can be as much as possible present in your practice and you don't miss out on your own life on your own practice and then slowly if you want to you can fall over towards the right and if you feel like you want to stop somewhere along the way then we stop there right if it feels anything tight it's like you should stop there and sometimes you know stopping right where it feels a little challenging can be really healthy to resolve any tension any knots mm-hmm. then you can bring your hands on the side of right and left side of your leg and then find the length again and then see if you want to fold a little bit further over your right leg breathing in breathing out your breath is free your breath is deep see what comes up for you see what's present for you in your heart in your body really taking an inventory here today for the people that keep coming back you know my class usually look a little different so enjoying this really slow pace today hopefully sometimes it's important to change it up a little bit and see things from a different perspective and then from here you can crawl back to center and over towards the left if that feels good to you listen to your body listen to your intuitive to those intuitive movements if you want to add anything here of course add it and then find the length moving with the crown and energy forward and then melting over your left leg if it feels good staying up a little bit more if that's better for you i'm grateful for hmm. my health again coming really aware of that fold in the left hip it's quite magical it's quite um fascinating how the body works that there's so many meridians there's so many i guess trigger points in the hips that um in such a simple such a simple movement the fold in the hip we can signal our body that we want to relax we want to calm we want to get out of fight flight we can help anxiety we can help where we can help panic attacks and then once you're ready you can come back to center one more time here find your breath breathing in and breathing out and simply being present with yourself here and i am great and slowly on your finger tips on your hands crawl yourself back up to sit reach your arms up towards the sky they remind me to slow me down you lengthen your spine to kneel and kiss the ground and then bring your right hand into the ground Stretch your left arm up and over your head towards the right. Slide bend in your right elbow. Now feel that beautiful opening in your left hip. Isn't that nice? Use your blocks at any time if you need to. A little strength here in your right arm. Feel a lot of strength in your left arm reaching and stretching out towards the sky. One more breath in here. Exhale, come back to center and then switching over towards the other side. Reach up high. Find an arch in your back. Exhale, left hand into the ground, right arm up and over towards the left. Looking up towards the sky if your neck allows. If not, just look down towards your mat. 
And then remembering here to open up the chest, to not collapse in the chest, to reach towards the left. Mm. One more big inhale here. Exhale, come back to center, reach up towards the sky with a big inhale. Exhale, hands back into the ground. And then bringing your feet together, bending your knees, mermaid your legs towards the right, coming onto your hands and knees, old force. With your, with your toes, you know, and feet tucked or untucked, I leave that up to you. Let's do a few cat cows here to really, you know, bring some wellness to our spine here inhale cow arch your spine let your belly drop look up exhale cat round your spine and push the ground away from your tuck your navel in inhale for cow arch exhale push the ground away from cat inhale for cow exhale cat Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Now do a few here on your own. You can integrate any movements that feel intuitively good to you. Right? Any movements with the hip, for example. Anything in your wrist. Right? You can move and circle your wrists and bring that movement in here as well. <sighs> really making those wavy movements in the spine is exactly what we need if we're, you know, remaining in the same position throughout the day for so many hours to let your spine move like a wave. Becoming really present with yourself and with your breath. Let's do three more here. And come back to center once you're done. Feel your palms really rooting into the ground, right? Bring your forearms into the ground, actually. Make some fists here with your hands. And then, if you like to come with me and stretch your legs out behind you, plank, low plank pose here. Lift your knees off the ground. And then, Ideally, with your shoulders right above your elbows, shift your weight forward, tuck the navel in, a lot of strength here. A lot of core, a lot of back, a lot of deep breathing. Look towards your mat, relax your head, maybe even look back all the way towards your toes, press your heels back against that imaginary wall. There's a lot of strength here in your arms, shoulders, core, back, and see if you can lower your buttocks down so that you can make a, truly make a long, nice back side of your body. One more breath here, inhale, exhale, knees into the ground, but keep your arms as they are, untuck the toes, bring your legs a little bit wider than your mat, and then see if you can still Position your shoulders right above your elbows, or fist, or maybe even planting your feet, uh, your your sorry, your uh, hands into the ground, spreading your fingers really wide, and then here for a cobra. From here, simply inhale, gaze forward, and feel like you're pushing the ground away with your lower arms, right? So there's some activation in your arms. 
There's activation in your back, a lot of strength in your back. Arching your spine. And just simply breathe here as you feel the activation in your back. With the next exhale, just relax everything. Look down for a moment. And now we will do it in, um, in waves. We will inhale and activate and come into a slight baby cobra here, activating the back. And we will exhale, relax, look back down towards the mat, relax the belly and the back. Inhale, press the arms into the ground, arch the spine as you are about to come into a cobra. Exhale, look down, relax. Inhale, lift everything here. Exhale, relax, look down towards the mat. Inhale, lift for cobra. Press the ground away. Exhale, gaze down. Inhale, cobra here. Three more. Exhale, lower your gaze. Relax. Inhale, come up. Exhale, gaze down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, look down. And then from here, keep your legs as they are. You can stay here if you want to, or you can come onto your hands and then straighten your arms to come into a higher cobra here, basically. All right, so this is really about basics today so that we can flow really nicely and a little quicker maybe next week, but really coming back to the basics here. So in the cobra, you still have a slight bend in your elbows. You relax your legs, you relax your buttocks. You, you know, move your shoulders up towards your ears for a moment. So this is like a lot of tension. Now exhale and relax your shoulders down and back. At the same moment, relax your belly and move your belly and your navel closer towards the ground, right? Pressing firmly into your hands and arms so you can lift here and have really a stable situation. Spread your fingers wide, relax your face and keep coming back to your breath. Breathe really deep here. Bringing that arch into the spine, creating traction and space in between every vertebra as we bend back. So good after a long day of sitting. Breathing in, nourishment, breathing out, any tension. A few more moments here. You can come out if it's too much anytime. Please, 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 please come out. Come back onto your forearms or lay all the way down onto your belly. One more big inhale, lift your heart. Exhale, slowly in control, lower all the way down with your chin to the ground. And then from here, lift your arms left and right, lift your legs, your head off the ground. Superman pose. Now there's also a lot of strength going on in your back. And this is so important to counter, counteract when we do a lot of folding. A lot of folding forward means a lot of strength that we need in the back. We need to pay attention to the back as well. Lift your hands and flirt with the height. See how high you want to bring your arms. See if you can relax your neck or look down towards your mat. And don't forget to breathe, right? This is a pose where it's easy to forget to breathe. You can close your eyes. Tune in with your breath. Three more breaths here.
One more big inhale. Lift everything up. Exhale, let everything float down towards the ground. Bring your hands right underneath your shoulders with your elbows bent. Inhale here for the cobra. Press your torso up towards the sky. Exhale, chin into the ground, tuck your toes. Now come and press into your hands and press all the way up into plank pose, which is also called push-up position. Here in push-up, just as we were on our forearms, activate your core, shift your weight forward a little bit to bring your wrist right underneath your shoulders. Push, you know, that <clears throat> imaginary wall behind you back with your heels, strong legs, relaxed face, relaxed breath, and a super relaxed heart. Spread your fingers wide and push the ground away from you. So it's almost like you're coming a little bit into a cat back on your upper back, at least. Breathe here. You came to feel, feel it. Breathe through it. Breathing in, I'm breathing in. Breathing out, I am breathing out. One more breath in. One more breath out. Inhale, press your hips up towards the sky, downward facing dog. Downward facing dog. A few tips here for me. If you like to bend your knees a little bit, your heels can't touch the ground, don't need to touch the ground. Press your heels a little low, press your hips up a little high, tuck the navel in, relax your neck. This is a moment where we like to hold tension in our neck. Let go, let your head dangle free. Let your legs and your arms work. Come out of your shoulder sockets by, you know, shifting your upper arms outwards. And press the knuckles of your index finger and your, your uh, thumb really firmly into the ground. We like to lift up the, the knuckle of the index finger. Small details, but very, very powerful. Right? Breathe. Inhale, lift your hips up towards the sky. Exhale in six inches increments. Walk your feet closely towards your hands. Enjoy the journey. Take your time. Everything counter program, counteracting everything that we do at work which had a lot to do with delivering on time reacting quickly being multitasking single tasking i call it really important for us really important for our health for our well-being for our balance Just simply forward folding here. You can also grab your block if you like to. You can bring your hands onto your shins. You know, your hands don't need to touch the ground. That's really up to you. Your body is different from mine. You know, as I give you my practice here, my recommendation, you find your own. You find your own perfect spot. Feel the back side of your legs and your body really stretching. Feel the fold in your hip again. Remember. Switching the system to parasympathetic system. Again, body, I'm ready to relax. Mm. Breathe. With every exhale, dang a little bit more free here. As your mind drifted, don't judge yourself. Come back. The only thing, don't stop moving. Don't stop, keep coming back to your breath. And then from here with your hands on your shins, maybe inhale, long spine, find the lift in your torso. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale on your own pace, slowly 
reach all the way up towards the sky. Find the prayer here. Maybe your palms are touching. And then bring the prayer in front of the heart. Mount pose. Rooting your feet firmly into the ground. Find your mountain. Tuck the navel in. Tuck the belly. Tuck the, the tailbone in and up. Close your eyes for a moment. Get really clear about why you showed up here today. Why some of you show up here every single week. Let your thumbs touch your sternum. Feel your heartbeat. Tell yourself, tell your body, and tell yourself in your mind. I'm in a protected, safe space. I'm in a protected, safe space. Lift up all your ten toes. Start with a pinky and bring them back one by one into the ground. So much awareness. So much, we're not even used to that. But let's break the program. Let's break the multitasking for practice today for these 60 minutes here. So you can come back refreshed, rejuvenated, and you can face your life again. If you pray in front of your heart, now bend your knees. Slowly, slowly calm down into Malasana squat. You know, this is really up to you. Maybe you can balance here on your toes with your buttocks touching your heels. Or maybe you want to bring your knees into the ground, right? Whatever feels good to you. Breathe here with your prayer in front of your heart. Swing your arms up and around over your head. Reach up here. Exhale, bring the hands into the ground. Open up your knees wide, as wide as you like to. Bring your hands in between your legs. Maybe you want to bring your forearms into the ground. And simply feeling that nice stretch here. Bringing that blood flow into your knees, into your ankles, your feet. And maybe you want to stay up here. Touching so many different meridians in our toes, in our feet. Mm. And then slowly, slowly bring your hands back outside, bring your knees back together. Forward fold, straighten out, stretch out your legs, lengthen them out, forward fold. And forward fold here. Inhale for a long spine. Lift up, hands low. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, chair pose. Bend your knees up to 90 degrees. Reach your arms up towards the sky. Exhale, straighten out your legs. Come all the way up. Back to mountain pose. Pray in front of your heart. Shift your weight onto your left leg, and then you can come into tree here as you bring your right foot maybe on the outside of your left ankle or on your calf, or maybe on to your thigh. Just try to avoid the knee, right? You can use your right hand to help yourself. You want to come a little further up, further down, or further up. It doesn't matter. Literally nobody cares. This is just for you. You can stay here and balance in your tree. You can move your arms up like a tree moving from left to right. Letting your leaves 
flow from side to side, bring some movement into your spine, work on your balance, or maybe with a prayer in front of your heart. You can practice a little like trust in yourself. You can close your eyes and see what it does to you. Does it bring you out of your tree? Great. Laugh, come back, relax. Come back to your breath and repeat. Maybe close your eyes again. And you can bring your right foot back into the ground with me here, switching sides, shift your weight onto your right foot, bring your left foot onto your right leg, calf, ankle, or inside of your right thigh. Come into your tree on the right side. Find a long, nice spine, and then, you know, the energy is really moving up towards heaven, moving down towards the ground, the earth, connecting you both to the heavens and to the earth. Play around with your balance. Maybe you want to close your eyes one more time. Trust yourself. Be okay falling out. Be a little goofy, a little funny. Don't be too strict and affectionate with yourself. Or maybe swing your arms from side to side. And then slowly you can bring your left foot back into the ground. Plant your feet firmly. Reach your arms up as you breathe in. Exhale, airplane arms will bring you back down. Hands into the ground, step your right foot back, left foot back, plank, pose. One big inhale. Exhale, all the way down into the ground. Untuck the toes, one more cobra here. Breathe in with me. Exhale, chin into the ground. And then come back to all fours. Cross the ankles. Actually, let me check the time here real quick. All right. Sit back in between your, uh, bring your feet a little bit wider than your hips. And if it feels good, you can sit in between your feet for just a moment. Bring your buttocks into the ground. Bring your palms onto your thighs. Close your eyes, come back to your intention. Why are you here? Why are you showing up? What does this practice mean to you? And then just observe, how do you feel now 60 minutes into this practice? Can you notice a change in your body? Can you notice a change in your mind, in your heart, in your soul? And even if not, even that, don't judge that. Simply practicing accepting whatever is present for you. And then bring your right hand one more time onto your belly, your left hand onto your heart and see what is present for you right now, 60 minutes later. Bring your hands into the ground. Cross your legs behind you. Sit back onto your buttocks. Navasana, both pose. Reach and stretch your legs out in front of you. Lift. You're balancing on your buttocks, basically. Reach your arms forward with your palms facing up. And then really activating the core here. Breathe in. Bring your palms together in the center. Breathe out. Bring your hands towards the right side of your leg. Breathe, strong core. You can bend your legs a little bit more if you'd like to. Come back, descend as you inhale. Exhale, hands and palms towards the left. Breathe. Yes, you might shake. 
but just as we were activating through folding and back bending, you gotta activate the core as well. Come back to center as you breathe in. One more final moment. And then exhale, squeeze your knees into your chest. Give yourself the biggest hug. <sighs> Slowly and controlled, bring your body all the way into the ground. Shavasana, final resting pose. Bring everything into the ground. Let everything go. No muscles, no nothing to hold on to with your palms facing up or down. Leave this up to you. To your mood. Close your eyes. Find a soft gaze. Just a few moments of meditation here as we really purify the body and the mind and the soul and the heart. Allow yourself this one minute of total rest. Fill this moment with gratitude. Gratitude can never be overdone. There's not such a thing as, and you just stop being grateful, it's too much. No, the heart can be forever flowing with gratitude. It never needs to stop. And there's absolute, absolutely no limit. And I know we hear the word gratitude so much, sometimes we can become desensitized to it. It's like, yes, 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 I know to be grateful, I get it. But no, don't just see it as a word, see it and embody what the word means to you. Fill this moment, those last few minutes of this practice with gratitude. What are you grateful for? A word is simply a word, right? Gratitude without feeling or bringing feeling and meaning behind it. So yes, there's a whole lot of gratitude quotes and memes out there. But if we truly try to feel gratitude, to build a life with deep rooted foundations of gratitude at every moment in our relationships. We're seeing the word in any way will spark. Those relationships will spark in life. Putting an official end to this class. Namaste from me, from New York to wherever you guys are. I have so much gratitude for this weekly practice and I'm really sorry about mixing up the schedule today. I know some people were ready to practice this morning, but um, with all the traveling, I'm getting a little lost in time and space. So um, my apologies, I hope you enjoyed the class. I'm really curious to hear if uh, you would like to practice a little bit more yin classes, if you enjoyed it. I'm sure it was challenging. It's always challenging to... Uh